So uh, we're at Pike's Hotel here in Fairbanks, Alaska, and uh, we're going to do a room review. Um, uh, we're at the Aurora Lodge portion of uh, Pike's, and uh, it's a separate building from the main building. So anyway, so you get off the elevator, and there are elevators in here. So you get off the elevator, and you come down the hallway. We're located on the third floor. We have room 616. And uh, as you first come in the door, real nice uh, picture there. You have your bathroom on the right. A really, really nice setup here. They've got nice um, curtain. And uh, you've got a granite counter sink. And you've got the toilet and amenities. It's not that big, but it's there. It, it's sufficient. And so you enter the room, and now you have a full-size mirror to the right. And then you have, we, we booked a room with two queen beds. And so um, there it is. Nice and well-equipped with four pillows. And you've got an old-style uh, telephone, which is pretty, pretty neat. I like that. Um, and uh, there you go, room decor, you got a nice um, picture of the uh, moose there and the um, Denali range. And so on the other side of the room you have a uh, nice size flat screen TV, looks like a, maybe a 45, 46 inch. And then you also have a, ref a, a microwave and a small refrigerator which is really cool and uh, you have sufficient amount of drawers for storage of your clothing and you have another mirror here right above the desk and work uh, work desk there and it's equipped with a um, coffee maker ice container and uh, it looks like a percolator for hot tea which is pretty cool. And then you have um, a wardrobe uh, deal here where you can hang your clothing. They give you extra um, pillow and extra uh, blanket. You have sufficient amount of, uh, of uh, clothes hangers, a box fan if you get cold, uh, cold, um, warm and uh, um, ironing board and iron, very nice. And uh, the room is not centrally heated or cooled, but they do have a nice uh, wall unit, and it is actually blowing out pretty nice. So anyway, so the room we have actually has a view of the, of the highway that is, uh, I believe, Airport Road, and uh, it is basically right across from the Fairbanks um, Fairbanks um, Airport, International Airport. And there's the uh, main sign for Pikes Waterfront Lodge. And to the right, that is the main lodge. And so as you can see, we're not attached to the main lodge. It's a separate, uh, it's a separate lodge. And off to the, uh, far front there there's a separate building and that building is uh, the Pikes Landing uh, restaurant slash bar so um, there's a eating opportunity there eating and drinking opportunity there and then also in Pikes Landing there's also eating and drinking opportunity so so far what I'm seeing here is uh, a very nice setup this is a standard room and so far we're pleased with what we got so anyway hope you like the review and uh, of the uh, standard room here at uh, Pikes and uh, thanks for watching so cabins are another accommodation that you can rent at uh, Pikes waterfront uh, hotel which is really really neat if you really want to feel the um, you know the Alaska feeling you may want to rent one of these uh, authentic uh, cabins very very cool um, 
and they're clearly marked and they have their own uh, unique names cabin number 28 is named Fanny Quigley uh, that's pretty neat cabin number four wise Mike step for uh, step uh, yeah that's that's uh, pretty uh, neat that uh, they named these cabins really really nice Cabin number 21, John Ratliff. Very nice, very nice. I like this. Yeah. And actually, in the background there on this other side of the uh, tree line, you can see a gray building. That is the um, Princess Lodge, the uh, Fairbanks Princess. So that's uh, nearby accommodation that you can also uh, book if you're uh, visiting the uh, Fairbanks area. There's also a solarium located on the property. And I would imagine that this is it's mostly for use during the uh, during the winter months because uh, it gets pretty hot here in the direct uh, in the direct sunlight. But this is pretty neat that they've got uh, this located on the property. And believe it or not, for whatever reason, there's a xylophone that's located in here. Pretty cool. And right outside the solarium, solarium, there's a little decoration there and it displays a sled and uh, two uh, sled dogs. That's pretty neat, pretty unique. So the uh, photograph up top is, um, I guess it's photographs of Notorious Gold Rush Pioneers of Fairbanks. So these are the original folks that uh, came up here during the gold rush to um, get their riches. That's pretty neat. Um, Tunnel of Love. That's pretty neat. There you go. So you can um, walk through the Tunnel of Love and through the garden and reminisce of um, a, a loved one that may have passed away. That's a pretty neat little setup there. And also there's the, the Aurora River front deck and theater right here located right off the China China River and there's the Aurora Theater oh and then you also have a little duck area here that is pretty neat and there it is the Lucky Duck Hotel. Oh, geez, there's lots of ducks. Walking through the uh, Tunnel of Love here. Beautiful area. Lots of beautiful flowers. Kind of gives you a calming effect. And a beautifully carved bench here with the world's famous Alaska salmon. And a nice little sitting area that's 
has a built-in gas fireplace. I bet you that comes in really handy do, during some of the cool, cool nights here in Fairbanks, and I do mean it. It does get cold, and benches here overlooking the infamous Chena River. Beautiful. So here we are at the front of uh, Pike's Waterfront Lodge and here is the uh, main lodge and um, off to the right here is the Aurora Lodge. So it's uh, it's um it's a good size um, accommodation and uh, I highly recommend this place this is the uh, first time we've actually ever stayed at Pikes and uh, I guarantee you it won't be the last so anyway here's the main entrance here and uh, we'll be going inside and to take a look at uh, what's inside the main lodge so here we are going into the main lodge. Really nice setup here. And to the to the right here you have uh, guest services. And you have uh, you can book tours here with these these fine folks here. And there's the front desk. And here's a gift shop. You know what hotel is com complete without a gift shop? So there it is. In Fairbanks history here, the did the ride. The world famous sled dog race, thousand mile race. Nice piece of history, Alaska history here. Breakfast area, breakfast buffet area, and you also have a, um, a bar area. And you also have a pool dining area here. Very nice, and it actually overlooks the uh, Chena River. Nice location. And so here is another part of Pike's Waterfront uh, Lodge. It's Pike's Landing um, Restaurant. This is the original structure from what I remember as long as I've been here in Alaska. Uh, this was the original Pike. And uh, right there is the Pike's Landing uh, boat launch. 
and across if, if you can see there's a love alaska sign across the china river and uh, there's an area over here in the outside dining where you can actually uh, putt some golf balls and try to make it to a bucket that's located right there by that love alaska sign so a little closer look uh, of the china river from the the uh, sky deck here at pikes nice and uh, there's that sign I was talking to you about across the, the lake from Pikes. And there's the uh, river jet boat going down the China. This is a picture of the view from the outside uh, dining here at Pikes. Beautiful. It, it is really beautiful on a beautiful day. Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to get seating out here. As you can see, it's pretty popular. But that's all right. There's always a tomorrow. Anyway, beautiful view on a beautiful day. So this concludes my review of uh, Pike's Waterfront Lodge in Fairbanks, Alaska. I highly recommend this place uh, for uh, lodging if you're ever visiting the Fairbanks area. It has everything that you may possibly need uh, on your stay here in Fairbanks. Um, the rooms are great, the dining is great, the atmosphere is great. So as I said, I highly recommend this place and uh, I hope... Uh, that uh, you enjoyed watching this uh, review. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.